welcome to Ephemera Files by Tommy. And this will be the wrap up of my Ivory Dreams journaling process. And these are using digitals that I purchased from Nanine at Collage Type. I will link all of her information below along with all of the kits that I used from her shop. I first intended for these two to be a part of the Ivory Dreams journal but that journal was just too big and I had to pull two of the signatures out. So I went ahead and added to them and made them each their own individual journal. But these are a twin set. They will go together. They're not identical twins, but they are very similar. And let's see, let's just go ahead and I'll start with this one. Now, usually when I take things out of pockets, I leave them out of pockets to show you the size of the journal without all the ephemera. These don't get much skinnier. <laughs> so here we go. Um, it is a single signature, like I said. It is, let's see, nine, I think it's nine. No, the journal was nine. This one is also, well, it's nine, eight and three quarters by, what am I doing? <laughs> by six, and then it's a single signature, and they are both the same size there. I have this chipboard sticker that I used from the set um, that I do not know the name of, and I really, don't know how to find out, but it's this set that I use them from. Whoops, that pulled that out of another jar. Along with scrapbook papers, hand dyed papers, different things like that. It is a three hole pamphlet stitch on each of them and they are both, uh, they are both covered on the spine with a double layer of lace. And then I have collages, I have tissue paper. This is paper from the kits, along with this and this little tab. And in this first pocket, I have an altered card. It's an altered, I think, sympathy card. Let's see, this is avocado dyed paper. Here, this paper clip is folding this flip down. And what I've created is kind of like a double Rita Donnelly flip, but it's also a pocket because you've got this flip up and you can write there, this flip up you can write there and there. And then on the inside, I've tucked in a piece of my hibiscus dyed paper. So funny that the hibiscus came out yellow. And that just tucks right in there. If you have smaller things that are even shorter than this, you could also tuck them in. And then this helps to keep it closed. Let's see, this is coffee dyed paper, tissue paper with some writing space added by gluing on a vintage spiral bound notebook page. Here in this pocket, which has been crinkled, inked and stamped, it's a glassine pocket. I have an altered bingo card. another little pocket here, a piece of a vintage doily that I have used throughout the other journal and then also a couple of pieces in here. Let's see, this is a tall pocket and inside I have, I think that this is coffee dyed paper in here. Oh, there's two pieces and I only pulled one out. There's the other one. I'll just pull it out too. These are from those mini composition notebooks that you can get. And I just dyed them along with, with the other papers that I dyed with that coffee. And those slide in there and they are just about the perfect size. Here's the center of the signature and I have glass seed beads on the uh, signature ties and they hang just below the signature. I have a double pocket here with an altered vintage index card that's not ink i or it's not all ink i don't think i inked that i may have i may have inked just a little bit down here but it is aged and then a couple of little tags that are tucked in the top pocket
Here I have a clear pocket that I've tucked in a tag that I've made a tab with, and this little envelope that is full of tabs that I did not use from the kits. And that just tucks right down in there. Stenciling on both pages. And then in this pocket, I have another piece of the hibiscus dyed paper. And then there's the back cover. The second journal measures the same. And here I have a pocket that I have used this piece of the kit and then part of the lace and that pocket goes all the way down. And then I have this journaling card that you can just flip up for even more space. Double pocket here with journaling cards and they have silk fabric tags, tabs. <laughs> and accented with labels that I like the color. I like that color a lot. These are some strips. This is a strip from the flash card, a flash card. I can't remember if I have one or two in here because I can't remember if I put two in one or one in each. And I already can't remember if I had one in this. I don't think I did. And then these are just two long strips. They were like washi strips that were in the, in the kit that I didn't use. I used some, but not all. So I just thought I'd add those in there as well. Because I think that they're useful. Avocado dyed paper, a little collage with stenciling and stamping and splattering. Let's see, I stenciled on, oh, this is what Dear Julie Julie calls a tattoo. I stenciled and then I stamped on the back of a piece of tissue paper that had gold splatter on it from a different project, glued that face down so the ink is behind the tissue, and then had this little piece that I had stamped on and punched out. Here's a pocket, another piece of the hibiscus dyed paper. tab is also from the kit. This is, I think this one is tea dyed because it's got a faint pink tint. Here's one of the flash cards that I altered. I just added a couple of stickers right there and an antique style ribbon closure. It tucks up into that top pocket. Here is the center, signature center and the signature ties and those have glass seed beads on them. the double pocket here. This journaling card has been back with that vintage paper from the notebook and a tag that I have seam binding added to. This tab is also from the kit and another piece of the hibiscus paper. Here's a glassine bag that I've added washi tape to the page and a sticker. And then this was a piece of packaging and this was a piece of packaging. And so I thought that that was fun. So I added it to the top of that piece and then added a couple of labels. And this is a scrap piece from the kit and a sticker. And then on the back, I have coffee dyed paper. And this is from the kit and then another label. I thought that was really fun. Here I have another flash card that I have not done anything to but put it in there. You can't even tell it's a flash card right there unless you recognize the corner. And then here I have one, two, three, four, no, one, two, three pockets. <laughs> four, that's the fourth pocket. I knew that this was a four pocket page. And here I have a journaling card. and another journaling card. And this is an old computer card that I've stamped on. 
on the front, just very faintly in the green. And then I think this may be a Tim Holtz piece, a layaway tag. Just added a sticker over the stenciling there. And then this last page has a long, tall pocket with a long, tall journaling card. And that's the end of that one. So here is the twin set of the Ivory Dreams single journals. Let's see, single signature journals. I will try to get these in my Etsy shop soon. However, we are in the midst of March madness and right now my team has been winning its games. <laughs> and so I have been traveling around with them so I don't know if I'm gonna be here the next weekend or not. <laughs> so give me a little grace. I'll get everything into my shop soon. Thank you for joining me today. And as always, be kind. Bye.